The sulfur in the stratosphere cools the planet, but at lower altitudes within the Earth's atmosphere, it does a lot of damage. Since the Industrial Revolution began over 200 years ago, the combustion of fossil fuels has put just over one trillion tons of CO2 as well as sulfur into the atmosphere. By the mid-1950s, the effects of the sulfur were killing thousands of people through respiratory diseases. It also caused acid rain and had a devastating effect on plants and animals. To combat this, Clean Air Acts were introduced and sulfur emissions in many parts of the world have been significantly reduced. But ironically, filthy factories shielded us from the sun by filling the air with sulfur. Just a mile from Paul Crutzen's home, the local incinerator, like other factories in his town, has cleaned up its act. Well, in this factory, the garbage of the city is burned and produces then, of course, this uh, smoke plume. It emits carbon dioxide, and that means that it's adding a small amount, of course, uh, to the uh, global warming. In the past, a factory like this would have emitted sulfur dioxide too, but it's now being filtered. There's a par paradox because uh, uh, we want to clean up the environment uh, because air pollution is uh, unhealthy. Uh, but this pollution basically cools the Earth by reflecting solar radiation to space. You see it, uh, the clouds above us. This has a cooling effect and we all feel it. It's cold here now. With more CO2 in the atmosphere to absorb heat and less sulfur air pollution to reflect the sun's radiation, the world is getting warmer. For Paul Crutzen's idea to work, one million tons of sulfur needs to get 25 kilometers up into the stratosphere. His solution, rockets. You burn in the first stage hydrocarbons that gives a lift to the rocket material and the rocket, it goes then into the stratosphere. In the stratosphere, you burn the hydrogen sulfide, which you have brought up, and the sulfate particles reflect solar radiation. Now, when that is done, the rocket will just tumble back into space and probably uh, fall down in the ocean somewhere. <laughs> 